Good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Um, I have a wild dog here right now. <laughs> I'm hiding one of his really noisy squeaky toys because I don't want him playing with it. Come on. Get up here. Not right now. Yeah. He's crazy. <laughs> Some mornings he's like totally chill and other mornings he's like this. So bear with us here. <laughs> Uh, I thought I was going to be doing this from the light rail this morning because I was supposed to be in a class in downtown Phoenix at 8 o'clock and uh, I guess Spirit had other ideas for me. I did not get a good night's sleep. I was awake for a few hours and uh, turned off my alarm at 5.30 this morning and promptly went back to sleep until 6.30. So here I am. I'm not going to Phoenix. and. Uh, it's okay, I have a lot of work to do. I've got a couple of nice new listings that I need to get some marketing out for the Ryan White team. So here I am. And a wild dog who's happy I didn't leave too, I think. Maybe he's protesting. Anyway, this morning I wanted to talk a little bit about your why. What is your why? There's a book that I read several years ago, several being three or four or five, I don't remember, um, by a gentleman named Simon Sinek and it's called Start With Why. And his whole premise is that it goes further than what you do, but you have to know why you do it, why you do what you do. And it's actually a leadership book. I'm trying not to squeeze the lizard behind me that's hiding from Connor. Um, so it's a leadership book and it's, you know, when you are in a leadership role, you, his, his theory or his, his belief is that people will follow you and will work with you if they understand why you do what you do instead of just what you do. And so he's got a second book out right now too. Um, I've seen him speak twice at our Remax conventions. And I've watched a lot of his online stuff. He's he's marvelous. I get his daily he gets sends out a daily email and you'll probably see me posting some of those on my Facebook page before. But Simon Sinek, check him out. Start with why. So I would just challenge you today to think about what is your why? Why do you do what you do? I guess first you have to you have to really pinpoint what it is you do, or if you're not doing what you want to do, what is it that you want to do? And define the why. And um, his, the Simon's premise is exactly opposite. You start with why you do what you do, and then you figure out what you're going to do with that why. For me, this was fairly easy. I my why has always been to help other people succeed. Um, I spent 16 years working at John Holland Associates, which was a real estate, independently owned real estate company here in Phoenix for many years before they were bought by Realty One. And um, I was there for 16 years. I was. A receptionist I was in the admin office I was in management I did human resources and training and and recruiting and all kinds of different hats that I wore through the years there and that's my why it was the same then when I first started my real career in 1982 when I moved to Arizona I love to help people I love to help people succeed I love to help people get to their next level um, I love creating the tools to help them do that. And I've been with Bill Ryan's team now at Remax for um, almost 20 years. And that's been my role there all of these years as well, is helping others succeed. And so now with my hypnotherapy, my coaching, my Reiki, again, it's the same. My why hasn't changed through all of these years. And I believe, oh crap, he found another squeaky toy. I believe that um, that that's why I've always loved what I do for a living. Um, because it's all about being true to my why. So what is your why? Think about that today if you would. 
and um, I'd love to hear your feedback on it, where you come, where you come with that. Um, as I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this this morning, either from the right light rail or just before I got onto the light rail, um, I was just going to keep it very short and sweet and talk about your light, the light inside of you, and about starting to look at what it is you're looking for outside of you and finding it within you. And so maybe we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. Since I don't I don't know where this why thing came from, but it's just when I sat down, that's what I knew I wanted to talk about this morning. So there you go, my thoughts for the day. And now time for a postcard from spirit. I think it's this one right here. Again, these are, oh no, he's found something loud and clunky to throw around out there. <laughs> I love my boy. He's a character. These are the Postcards from Spirit by Colette Baron reed And I've just been pulling one each day to read. Just for a little message from Spirit. Today it says, Dear You, Oh my, things are stirred up and changes upon you. This is cause for celebration. No need to be nervous, but know that it's okay to be afraid when faced with the uncertainties in life. The funny thing is that courage doesn't get mustered in the absence of fear, rather in spite of it or even because of it. Step into the unknown now. Let go of the branch you are clinging to and let spirit take the wheel and help steer you to your highest good and most wonderful adventure. All you need to concern yourself with is choosing courage as your ally. Leave the rest up to us. There's a load of miracles being shipped your way. Remember what philosopher Joseph Campbell said? Take one step toward the gods and they will take 10 toward you. We're all doing the destiny cha-cha on your behalf. That's right, don't be afraid to dance. Loving you always. Oh my gosh, seriously, this card. Um, wow, I was having a conversation, I don't remember if it was a text conversation or a messenger conversation yesterday with a friend of mine who, who does not live in town and uh, he was saying that the message yesterday was like something he really, really needed because he was struggling with with um, some changes. We talked about the Phoenix Rising yesterday and going through the death and rebirth and recharging and rejuvenating. And uh, wow, I think this card is for you, my friend. So I know you'll see this today. And that's just, and I started reading it and I'm like, oh crap. You know, I, get, I love the part where it says, just let spirit take the wheel. I can't tell you how many times I have said that. Spirit, take this wheel. I can't drive this train today. And it's amazing what happens when you do that and truly, truly surrender to it. Um, I love the Carrie Underwood song, Jesus, take the wheel. I mean, yeah, take it. Go for it. Because there comes times in our lives that... I know one major time that this happened for me is when I was moving back to Arizona from Idaho and I was there doing the physical move. The house was sold and had things loaded into pods and and we were trying to, oops, I want to keep that card separate so I don't read it again. That's the one right there. And sorry, I was like over here playing with my cards now. So anyway, um... I had a pod and we couldn't get everything into it. Could not get it all into one pod. And this was the large pod. I called to try to get another one. <clears throat> they didn't have any more coming in until two days later. They were all out right then. And I still had stuff I had to do something with. So I started calling around to storage facilities trying to find some place to put this stuff 
until I could arrange to get it moved or sold or whatever. I didn't even care at that point. I just wanted it done. I was absolutely exhausted and nothing was working out. I could not find a storage unit and I laid on the floor in my empty living room and I was at almost a full-blown panic attack by then and something came over me and I said, God, I can't do this. I have to turn this over to you. I can't deal with this anymore. I can't deal with it. I don't know what to do. I'm out of resources. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Jesus, please take the wheel. I'm done. I'm just done. And I laid there and I cried for a couple of minutes and I let it go. And as I'm laying there, just in some silence, on my living room floor still, I mean, I'm sweaty, I'm dirty, we've been loading and packing and crap for like three days. And I just, all of a sudden, this idea wafted into my head of, hey, how about this? And it was like, oh my God, it was the perfect solution and I knew who to call and it worked beautifully. So, moral of the story is, number one, don't try to move so much shit, just get rid of it before you move. And number two, turn it over. And that's a saying that, that I learned in Al-Anon many years ago and it's an AA saying as well. Turn it over, turn it over, turn it over. I think to myself, I, that goes through my head every time I get into one of those places where I don't know the answer and I don't know what else to do and I don't know where to go from there. Turn it over. Let go and let God. It works. I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed Tuesday. And I'm kind of missing riding, riding the light rail this morning because I really love to ride the light rail. It's always interesting. I'm a weirdo like that. So I love you. Have a great day. I'll talk soon. Maybe if I could turn this thing off. <laughs>